First of all, I just want to welcome you to the first episode of StarMade Weekly News. Um, as it's the first episode, it'll be a little bit longer than usual, and I hope to cover as many of the news and updates as I can. If I've missed anything, please let me know, and I'll uh, tag it in next week. So, let's go through a roundup of the patch updates for StarMade September 2013. So, on uh, the 2nd of September, there was an update for uh, exploits. So, this was because some servers were getting hacked. So, let's have a look at these. There was a possibility to take control of ships from the client, discard a kick with a hacked client. Control is double checked. Kicking now severs the, dir the direction even without client answering. Uh, renaming in spaces. Structure names can now contain spaces. You can also rename a structure by placing down a faction block, uh, declaring it as a faction object. So there's a new button there. Other fixes. Cleaned up death routine. Uh, kicking now immediately disconnects the client. Yep. Uh, fixed the bug that would cause lasers not to hit astronauts. Fi fixed player directions where you weren't facing the right way. Uh, Added admin commands to issue debug routines. Extra check on server to prevent players using a hacked client. Uh, to take control of structures. Extra check for block placement. Um, player object change, uh, changes check on server. So yeah, it's all to do with stopping people from messing around, basically. <laughs> uh, structure names can now contain spaces. Improved mem memory scalability for bigger structures, which was noticeable. Um, bigger structures did take less time to load up. Um, structure names can now be changed. We talked about that rename button. Uh, texture array fallback. That didn't affect me, but it uh, must have affected some people. So, a uh, bunch more stuff here, and like I say, if you want to check all these out, you can. So, the uh, next update from there was on the 6th of September. Credit loss changed to 10% instead of 50% when you die. Uh, possibly fix some docking position glitches, fix the bug where there'd be multiple shot blocks, fix the crash from third party function, uh, when trying to wrap word wrap a hyphen in the chat fixed restock command for player shops all admin commands now allow spaces arguments with spaces have to be written in single or double quotes just like that there and then there's the full change log so I'm not going to go through the full change log I'm just going to do the uh, I'm just gonna, we're just going to skim so here we go added server config line to modify how much credits are lost on death Added server config line to apply a time interval in after death. Added server config line to force the player to drop inventory. Uh, added server config line to enable projectiles gaining the relative speed from where they are shot from, which is good for missiles because they were stuck at 50, and if you had your server over 50, then you'd overtake your missiles. Added server config line to customize starting credits of a new NPC shop. Added server config line to customize NPC shop credit gain over time. Um, new in this version, navigation waypoint is now absolute. What that means is you didn't have to zigzag through sectors. It'll just give you a diagonal line from point to point, which is it cuts down the travel time by by a lot, <laughs> obviously. Uh, fixed crash on placing blocks in some cases. Preventing crash when recipes are used to have block types from modding that do not no longer exist. Fixed lighting on planets. Right. But that my, that was my favourite update for this one. Because it makes such a big difference when you're navigating around the universe. So, next up. So, we had another update on the 10th of September. So, uh, fixed faction chat and PM, fixed cutoff names in faction chat, fixed bug for larger docked ships that sink into the dock. I don't know if you ever noticed a big ship halfway into whatever it was docked onto. That was that one. Fixed docking size for fixed docking. Added docking dimension for docked ship in build mode so you can see the box which uh, you're docking in and how big your ship's box is. Docking should now be more logical and robust. Empty region writing no longer mapped. 
Um, a note about the docking, it did sort of go a bit haywire for a little while and some people sort of chewed their own arms off, but everything went back to normal within a few weeks. So if you just sort of left your ship alone, you would have found that uh, it's back to normal. So if, if your turrets docked to your ship, then they should still dock to the ship. Um, but I went through and checked all of mine anyway. So yeah, that's that one. Moving on. So we had another update on the 14th of September. And these are all updates in the launcher, not pre-builds. That'll be covered in a bit. So here we are, docking area fix and shooting direction fix. So he talks for a while about docking areas and there is a new admin command on the server config. So you can use slash ignore underscore docking underscore area to switch it on and off. So uh, when it's on, a docking area indicator in build mode will be colored purple if that, if that ship would not be a valid dock. So, you know, look out for that. Shooting direction. So this bug finally got fixed. The direction lasers were shot on clients if fired from another sector would make it look like players and AI were aiming at nothing when they were shooting you. The bullets would still hit and you'd lose blocks without seeing them get shot. So that was that. And like I say, there was a bit of a thing with the docking area but uh, after a couple of builds it was fine okay and then on the 19th of september we ended up with another release so here's the change log uh, a bunch of crash and debug basically this is all stability updates for uh, servers a couple of new commands we got god mode so god underscore mode space player name and then true or false and then also invisibility, invisibility underscore mode, and then your name, true or false, can only be applied to an astronaut. Uh, relative projectile and missile speed for default max speeds faster than 50 can be deactivated in the server.cfg. So yeah, you can uh, turn that off. The AI is now able to shoot fire and forget missiles. There's an option for AI aiming accuracy because they became uh, scarily accurate after an update. AI will no longer target entities and sectors that have protected or peace flags. So if you're wondering why your uh, turrets aren't shooting at anything, it's probably because you're in a protected sector. Uh, the spawn, 222, is protected usually in the server default. Uh, Server.cfg option to prohibit local blueprint uploading. This is a sort of go-between so that hardcore servers can have server-approved blueprints. So if you have this activated no one can upload but obviously as an admin you can go into the files and just drop them in there so they can still use up use blueprints they just can't add any of their own so that's good for faction servers that only use specific pre-built ships for their universes so improved the regular expression of nav point input so i don't know if you remember but in the commands you'd put in one space two space three um, however, in the nav, you'd put one comma two comma three. A lot of people thought, well, why can't we just do it in a different way? So, schema was awesome and put it in for every way that I can think of. Anyway, you can use uh, comma dot, you can use dot, you can use comma, you can use <laughs> comma with more spaces. I think that is. <laughs> uh, you can just use spaces. And you can use like, you know, 0, 1, 2 is 12, basically, things like that. So there's lots of ways. I mean, I just go 1, space 2, space 3 now. It's nice because it's the same as the commands I'm adding, uh, putting in as an admin. All right, added faction docking. That basically means if you're in a faction, if you're in a faction and you dock your ship, which has no faction block, you can dock and it will put your ship into the faction you're in while you're docked. When you undock, it takes the ship out of that faction again. So it just means that you can dock a core without having to put a faction block on it to something that is in a faction. Just makes it a little bit more convenient. Change server config relative speed for projectiles to a general multiplier. So now you can, you can set the uh, multiplier on the projectile speed. So you can boost it, nerf it, whatever you want. So that is all the updates for September. So we had five patches in total. So yeah, uh, five patches this month. And it looks like the next one is gonna be really good for uh, stability. It's gonna load sectors a little bit quicker again, lot with lots of entities. 
um, lots of new options for, for admins it's looking good so thanks for watching the September roundup for StarMade weekly news I didn't do the weekly news show last month so as a result I wanted to do a catch up to sort of bridge the gap and cover all of the updates that would have been missed had I just started from this week and carried on it will be a weekly show and I'm aiming for a Sunday Monday release each week I would like people to get in contact with me so they can send in their ships the ships have to be built by them and them alone and they have to be uploaded to the starmade.org uh, ship catalog in order to be uh, considered for ship of the week station of the week obviously you can't upload your station to starmade.org so just send me the uh, smsec file by email to mushroomfleet at gmail.com or get in touch with me on mushroomfleet.co.uk and uh, we'll arrange to come visit you on your server um, that's just about it so uh, thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next star made weekly news